Oh, come on, Cole, cheer up. Right up. You two haven't spoken in 40 years. Why start now? Liz is Ram. He's sick. I was so excited to be able to see Rams. It's such a charming, wonderful movie. I learned a lot, I've got to say. I mean, it's such a wonderful screen pairing. We've got Sam Neill and we've got farm animals. I think like everyone loves to see those two together. And of course, your your love of farm animals is well documented. So I wondered, I mean, how did this project come about? How did you come to be involved with Rams? Yeah, I, I, I never quite know the answer to that. Um, uh, how does one ever get into to a movie um, <laughs> and I, I was kind of uh, it was a film, film I was reluctant to to um, participate in because um, I'd, I'd I'd seen the original film um, which is an Icelandic film rather bleak film um, sort of bleakly funny but uh, <laughs> bleak and um, uh, I was already going into three films back to back, and this would have meant four on the back. This would have been four in a row without any break in between any of them. And I, I knew I'd be really exhausted by the end of it. And then I, I read the script, and, and I, was, I was very encouraged by how, by the tone of it and by the, the sort of, um, um, I, I describe it as, a, as a, not a feel good film, but a feel better film. I sort of felt... I felt better after reading it than, <laughs> than when I started it. And, and, and then um, uh, the director, Jeremy Sims, persuaded me that um, uh, I was the only person who could do it. So <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he was just flattering me. But um, uh, no, I, I, I and, and, and Michael Caton, who plays my estranged brother in it, is an old friend of mine. <laughs> So I, I thought, yeah, I think I will do this. I think this is something I should do. And now that it's been on release in Australia and New Zealand, and people have um, seen it, it's done very well here. I've had um, I've had great feedback. It's, it's such a warm kind of response to it that I, I'm very pleased that I that I that I committed to it, and I decided I would I would go there. Yeah. And it, it puts you on screen again with some lovely, lovely farm animals. I, 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 of course, was wondering how some of those sheep, sheep and, and ram were to work with. Sheep are only trainable to a degree. They're not right. the most trainable of animals. I mean, you never see a sheep performing tricks in a circus, for instance, do you? It just doesn't happen. They're not that sort of animal. They don't, they, you can't juggle. They can't walk tight ropes. I mean, they can barely get into a, into a sheep pen without making a fuss. So, um, yeah, I was a little bit apprehensive about that, but mm. I, I'm, you know, having 30 sheep of my own is they're just over there. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I don't have any apprehension about working with them. And, the, and by the time um, uh, the, the main star, Ram, and, uh, uh, and I got to know each other pretty well, and he was, he'd be pretty pleased to see me in the morning when we both turn up for work. <laughs> um, and um, by the time we got to have um, uh, a bath together in the scene earlier in the film, um, <laughs> right. we, were, we, were, um, we, were, we were pretty good friends. So he wasn't worried and nor was I. As I've alluded to, your, your love of farm animals and your collection of farm animals is well documented. So I've got some photos of them and Chuff is one of the newest members of your family. So I wondered if you could tell me about bringing Chuff into your life. <laughs> yeah, she's brand new. She was, she was uh, bred by my, uh, she's, she looks like a Labrador, but she's not a Labrador at all. She's just outside sleeping just like that as we speak. Uh, Chuff um, is called Chuff because to be chuffed in, in New Zealand parlance is to be happy and mm. um and so chuff sort of means happy dog yeah she's a very sweet dog and um but she's still a puppy we've got jeff goldblum the ram and then we've got the pig <laughs> yes could you tell me why why did that specific ram embody jeff goldblum to you why did that name make sense for for the ram i don't, I don't know there was just something about him uh that he, you know, he's a ladies' man. Obviously, Jeff's, Jeff's, um, the the ladies love Jeff, and the ladies love Jeff. Jeff Goldblum, the pig, um, is who's let himself down by putting his putting his nose out out of the fence there. 
Um, he's he's um, he's a very good friend. He's uh, he's called actually Angelica. Not this is Angelica. Angelica. Yeah, that's Angelica. He he has a girl's name because he was named by a little girl who um, loved that um, story Charlotte's Web, and apparently there's a pig called Angelica in that. And, and hmm. gender meant nothing to this kid, and she called <laughs> um, my pig um, uh, Angelica. So he, he was that, but he's twice the size at the moment. He always gets very fat in the fruit season. Wow. He, gets, he gets all the all the um, uh, reject cherries and apricots out of the orchards, <laughs> uh, and um, he's also half drunk a lot of the time because. Uh, <laughs> <they> <laughs> If the apricots have been sitting in the sun for two or three days, they, they start to ferment. And that's when he enjoys them most. So he's sort of staggering about half drunk and, um, and, and, and very fat. He slims down in the winter hmm. um, and, and gets his waistline back. But um, uh, he's, he's a sight to behold at this time of year. <laughs> now, this next photo, uh, one of these bulls is Graham Norton. And I know that you've been on Graham Norton's show before. I'm not quite sure how he got to be called Graham Norton. His mother is not in that shot. His mother is uh, Helena Bonham Carter. Um, and uh, his father was James Nesbitt. Uh, oh. But James, Jimmy Nesbitt um, uh, was getting old and very um, arthritic. And uh, poor old boy, he was hobbling around. He could barely walk. Oh. So. Uh, we thought the kindest thing was to actually put the poor old boy down. And so he's that paddock in which um, the cows are in that photo, he's buried right down at the bottom of that paddock oh. below those trees. Ooh. An honourable departure. We wouldn't, we wouldn't dream of turning Jimmy Nesbitt into sausages or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got Kate Winslet here, who seems to have recently had chicks which is very exciting. Yes, and, and she's, she's, um, she's a very, very good and protective mother. She's got seven little chicks of all different um, stripes and persuasions and colours. And, uh, yeah, she's great. And, and <laughs> so if you, if you see her, I thought, I thought the chicks had gone missing the other day, and then I realised she sort of puffs herself out, out <laughs> to about three times her size, and all the chicks kind of live in her feathers when they're when they're when they want to sleep oh i mean that seems comfy i, I can't blame them <laughs> yeah now this again is angelica with angelica's girlfriend am i correct <laughs> that's correct imogen foods <laughs> yeah Who, and imogen and, in real life has met imogen the pig am i am i correct in that indeed. as well <laughs> indeed she has and um imogen very blurry photo i wonder where that came from but um yeah, um, Angelica, um, uh, very, very fond. We, they, they can't be together all the time because he just won't leave her alone, so to speak. And um, it gets it gets a bit tiresome for, um, you know, a girl needs her beauty sleep, and she 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 doesn't she doesn't get any when he's around. Life on the farm. It's um it's raw. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's up, uh, it's in your face. Find those shoes. 